In the next 24 hours, I'm gonna challenge myself to sell trendy Christmas-themed t-shirts and sweatshirts using the print-on-demand business model. Now, I know that I recently did another challenge video where I ended up losing money Shopify dropshipping. However, when I saw these Santa Claus shirts selling on Etsy, I just couldn't help myself and I was immediately inspired to make this video. Now, most of you guys probably get the design, but for those of you that don't get it, it's a reference to White Claw, which is a popular brand of hard seltzer, and that's why Santa Claus is spelled C-L-A-W-S instead of C-L-A-U-S, and he's also holding a White Claw. And since I am 22, I was gonna joke about putting a fun twist on this challenge and say every time that I get a sale, I should crack open a White Claw. However, then I went up to our drink fridge and realized I don't have any White Claws, but that's okay because everyone knows Trulies are better anyway. Are you coming? not sponsored. Anyways, since I'm working within such a short period of time, I already bought the designs off Etsy. So next, I'm going to create a store on Teespring and list my products up on there. Then I'm going to reach out to as many Instagram theme pages as I possibly can and hopefully get some deals, pay for Instagram theme page shoutouts, and hopefully get some sales to document from those marketing efforts. So without further ado, let's get started. What's up guys, welcome back to another video for those of you that don't know me already. Hello, my name is Meg and on my channel, I make videos testing out different online business ideas as well as different side hustles. So if that's something that you're interested in, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell so that you're notified when the next video drops. And while you're at it, please hit that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm because it helps out a lot more than you know and I would really appreciate it. Okay, so right now it's 8.39 p.m. and it's time to create an account on Teespring, list the products up there, customize the storefront a little bit. I haven't used Teespring in a while, so hopefully this is easy to set up and I'll update you guys when I'm done. What's up guys? It's now actually the next day. I'm sorry I didn't do the update last night. Since I had such a short amount of time to do this challenge, I wanted to focus on reaching out to as many Instagram pages as possible. I don't remember exactly what time I went to bed, but I was up until like 2, 2.30ish, reaching out to these Instagram pages, and I ended up only getting a deal with one of them last night. However, when I checked Instagram today, I had 19 new messages, so I ended up getting some more deals, and I'm gonna go through all the details of it in a minute, but first I do wanna show you guys how the Teespring store turned out. It's nothing too fancy because it's just on Teespring. Okay, so this is how the store turned out as you can see i did change the color of the header so i made it i made this like a christmas color and i just used the santa claus design as the logo so i'm just going to show you guys all of the products that i listed as you can see, I have eight products listed on my store altogether. The first one here is the Santa Claus crew neck sweatshirt, and it's available for $29.99. I have the black design on lighter colors like this white and gray. Then I also have this design available as the hoodie for $34.99, the classic tee for $21.99, the women's classic tee for $21.99, and the classic long sleeve tee for $25.99. That one's also available in this pink color. So now let's go back and since we already saw this classic tee, let's go to the next one. This is the same Santa Claus design in white, so it looks better on the darker colors. I have it available as the comfort tee for $22.99 and the classic crew neck sweatshirt for $29.99. And if we scroll down, it's available in the colors navy, red, black, and forest green. Now let's go back and if we scroll down, you can see I have these products with this other design. I saw this hose in the house design was selling on Etsy. This is inspired by Cardi B's song WAP, and I thought it'd be good to have some more products available, so I bought this design too. And here, this is 
the white design on darker colors. It's available as the comfort tee for $22.99. Then it's also available as the crew neck sweatshirt for $29.99. And then if we go back, you can see I also have the black design available on the lighter colors, just like I had the Santa Claus design. So yeah, I feel like if I only had that one design there, it would look kind of empty. So I'm glad I found this other design and I think it's pretty complimentary to the Santa Claus design. So now let's talk about what happened with the Instagram theme pages. I just went through all of my DMs that I sent last night and I reached out to 37 Instagram theme pages altogether. I wanted to reach out to at least 50 to 100 Instagram pages. However, I wasn't really counting as I was going. I ended up advertising with nine pages and I just went through all my DMs and I wrote down a list of the nine pages and how many followers they have and how much I paid each of them. Okay, so I believe the first page that I got a deal with last night was this one with six 61,000 followers and I paid them $20 for a 24 hour post and a story with a swipe up link. So then earlier today I made deals with eight other pages. One of them had 19,000 followers and I spent $10 for a post and a story. Then the next page had 45,000 followers and I paid $8 for a story. The page after that had 46,000 followers and I paid $8 for a story. The next page had 35,000 followers and I paid $15 for a story and they actually had two pages so I paid $15 for the 24 hour story with a swipe up link for this page that had 35,000 followers as well as the other page that the same person owned. I didn't write down how many followers the other one had. So the next page after that was the biggest page that I ended up getting a deal with that had 103,000 followers and I paid them $19 for a 24 hour story. So then the last page had 62,000 followers and I paid $6 for a 24 hour story from them. So I ended up getting deals with nine pages all together and I spent $86. But before we get into the results, I do wanna show you guys the ad that I sent to these pages. I sent the same ad to most of the pages with the exception of two pages that I sent a different ad to. And I'm gonna explain these ads to you. So this is the first ad that I created. It says when even Santa's done with 2020. So I sent this first ad to that first Instagram page for the feed posts and then for the story post this was the first ad that I made for the story post it just says ain't no laws when you're drinking with claws and then I also created this variation I think I only used this one once this is the maroon sweater this one also says when even Santa's had a rough 2020 so the ad that I sent to all the other pages for the story posts was this the first picture is Spongebob and it's when he's singing the striped sweater song and then underneath that I have a picture of my sweater and it says the best time to wear a Santa Claus sweater is Christmas 2020. The inspiration behind this Spongebob ad is when I was reaching out to these Instagram theme pages I stumbled upon like a sub genre of meme pages which were Spongebob meme pages specifically. So when I found all of these Spongebob meme pages I got the idea to like want to make my ads fit in with the rest of the posts on these pages. So I just googled Spongebob sweater because I'm like really weird and I never watched Spongebob growing up. So I didn't even know about this episode where he was singing the striped sweater song. This is what came up when I googled Spongebob sweater. So I downloaded this photo and opened it up in Photoshop. I photoshopped the green sweater and changed it to my white Santa Claus sweater. And then I just blurred out the text that was up up here and I covered up the bottom image with the image of my sweater. I was really struggling to think of something creative for these ads and I'm really proud of how this one turned out but then I ended up not doing any deals with any Spongebob specific meme pages but I still sent this ad to the rest of the meme pages. So anyways I'm going to show you guys the results right now. It's actually 9 16 p.m. so if you guys remember yesterday we did start this challenge at 8 39 I believe. Yeah 8 39 p.m. So it's a little bit over 24 hours. Since I'm already on Teespring, I'm going to go to my analytics. Let's go to analytics here. And as you can see, zero. Zero dollars total profit, zero units sold, and zero orders made. 
So yeah, I tried not to look at the analytics all day because I wanted to surprise myself when it was time to make this video. But like two hours ago, I caved in and I looked at them and I saw that there were no sales and I'm pretty disappointed in how this challenge turned out. I'm sorry if you guys are disappointed as well. I'm sorry that this was another anticlimactic challenge. I really wanted this challenge to not end like this. I mean, I have heard that it is really hit or miss with Instagram theme pages. They were all kind of cheap. Like some of them were only $6, $8, $10, but at least this time I only ended up losing $86 as opposed to the last challenge that I did that I posted last Sunday. If you guys didn't see my Shopify dropshipping challenge yet, go check it out. I'll have it up here in a card. And I hope you guys still enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit the subscribe button if you're not already and hit the bell so that you're notified when the next video drops and i will see you guys in the next one peace out